I have a quick tip for you. In this video, we're going to take three five inch right angle corner brackets and turn it into an effective, inexpensive trivet that you can place in the coals in your fire and put a pot, fry pan, or whatever else you want. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, a few quick words of explanation. This is going to look a little bit more involved than it actually has to be. It's going to involve some simple, simple math. Now, I'm no expert in math, but I just took my time to look at this uh, when I looked at these three braces and said, I think I can get them at the just the right angle to, to make the, the trivet. And it's just really taking a circle of 360 degrees and dividing it by three. So you divide 360 by 3, you get three, to, 3 angles of 120 degrees. That was easy enough. Now all I have to do is find out how to measure 3 angles, or 120 degrees, in each of the bars. I'll show you that when we get to it. Okay, the first step in creating each leg of the trivet is to take one of the right angle brackets and mark a line across one leg of it. And that line is going to be where we fold it at the 60 degree angle by tapping it with a hammer while it's in the vise. So we have to make sure that we put a mark directly square across the end of the leg. How the distance from the tip inwards is not all that important. What is important is that it's exactly the same on all three of these right angle brackets. So I am going to pick a point, make sure that it's lined up just nicely. So I'm going to pick a point and it's going to be two and a half centimeters. And I'm using a fine point, a very ultra fine point permanent marker. Uh, it still can rub off, so just be cautious of that. And when I once I've got that mark done, I'm going to repeat that mark on the other two as well. But the next step at that point will be to put the line across do this so hopefully you can see what it is that I'm doing here. Holding it in my hand so the camera picks it up. There I've got it lined up perfectly. And nice line. You could also do this with a scribe and then you've got more of a permanent line. But all right, so there is my line on the tip of this. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Maybe if I angle it a little away from the light a little bit. So I'm going to repeat that on the other two brackets and then we're going to put each one of them one at a time in the vise and tap it to a 60, 60 degree angle. So I'll show you doing that next. Okay, so now that I've got the mark across all three of these right angle brackets at exactly the same distance from the end on one of the legs. I'm going to take each one of them one at a time, place it in the vise, line the mark up right on one of the jaws so I know that I'm precise each time because that's what's important here is going to be the consistency, not the distance, but that they're exactly the same, all three of them. And then I'm going to begin tapping with this claw hammer until I get this tab over at 120 degrees. And how am I going to know when I reach 120 degrees? High-tech device known as a compass. Dollar store compass. It came in a set of a compass and scribe and uh, I think probably a pencil and eraser. All in there probably for $2. Uh, you can pick these up very cheap in most places. They're going to work just fine. There are certainly more precise devices you can buy, but for the purpose of a project like this, this is plenty, plenty accurate. So what I'll do is I'll start tapping. I'll stop frequently and check and I'll line the device up on the side here. Looking through this direction, I'll know when I'm at the right angle. So I'll start tapping. And it doesn't take a lot of tap or a lot of pressure to bend these things over. Let me get down and have a look. Not close, not even close yet, but yeah, getting there. A few more taps. Take your time. And uh a little further. So where I'm at now. Just, just about there. Almost there. 
A few more taps. If I over tap it and go too far, it's easy enough just to either tap or bend it back. One more or two more taps maybe. All right, just for the sake of being as accurate as I can, I think one more tap. And I am on the money. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the other two angle brackets, and then we'll come back for the next step. All right, next step. So what I did is I just put my green cloth back on top of the table that I was working on, just so you'd have some contrast and be able to see what I'm going to do. So right now I have three of these flat corner braces, all bent at precisely the same angle. Now it's just simply a matter of assembling it. So to do that, each of the braces has that hole set back from the, uh, or in the middle of its leg. I'm using for this, and this is again somewhat arbitrary because it's what I had on hand. These are uh, three quarter inch number 10 bolts and nuts. And let me just work these on. There's one, I'll tighten them up after the, the three legs are on. and three. Just tighten that up hand tight. Okay, now that those are on, I can Tighten them up with my multi-tool and I'm out in the field, but they're plenty stable the way it is. I have a trivet that I can set in the coals, in the fire. It'll support all types of pots from small size GSI cup to a larger, even a cast iron fry pan. Plenty strong enough to withstand the heat and just high enough to give you good height over the coals uh, to give you the heat that you're looking for. Simple little project. Goes together quite nicely. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's wrap this video up. Okay, you know the best type of DIY projects are those ones that are really simple, made with commonly available materials, involving very few, if any, tools, and come out with something that is really effective and answers the need that you might have while you're out in the woods. And I think that's what this trivet does. This is something that I can unscrew and pack up very flat, very, well, relatively lightweight. It weighs a few ounces, but then I can put it together in the field and have a very effective trivet for cooking on over the coals. That's what I like about simple DIY projects like this, and I hope you do too. So this is just one way of making a trivet out of commonly available materials. I'll challenge you to provide me with a few more ways that I can try and bring back to you. But until that time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.